Right now at 5 o'clock, we have new details tonight on a SWAT situation in Fort Lauderdale. Police just announced an arrest in connection with a double shooting. A minor and an elderly man were wounded. That shooting happened along Southwest 13th Court, and that's where we find CBS 4's Ted Scouten with the latest. Ted. Hi, Lauren and Elliot. Well, right now, this really is still a developing story. Investigators have been on the scene throughout the day here. Let's give you a look at where the uh, actual houses that we're talking about. There's actually uh, a broken out window there uh, that was uh, from the SWAT team earlier today. Police just gave some new information, including naming a suspect and explaining more about her arrest. The SWAT team moves into a home after calls of a shooting. They're checking to see if more victims are inside. This all began around 8.30 in the morning when police got calls of shots fired in the 2900 block of Southwest 13th Court. I heard uh, a bunch of shots. What did it sound and like? Just very rapid, you know, six rate shots. You know, just bang, 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 bang. Neighbors heard the gunfire and called police. Well on scene, officers did observe uh, several rounds that had been fired. And at that same time, subsequently, they did a, they, they began to hear gunshots coming very close in the area. Police investigating just a few doors down where we see bullet holes in a neighbor's truck. Officers immediately encountered a female suspect with a firearm. Uh, they gave her orders to drop that firearm, at which time she complied. Police tell us that woman actually disarmed the suspect. We've learned that the suspect is another woman. Police identify her as Gwendolyn Whitfield Dorsey. Meanwhile, an elderly man and a teen approached police. Both had been shot. One of those victims has been transported to Briar General Medical Center with uh, what appears to be non-life-threatening injuries at this time. We do have another victim who is critical uh, in nature right now. Police spent hours on the scene questioning people and gathering information. Detectives tell us that six people live here, including children. There's no word who was nearby when the shooting happened. And investigators believe this was a domestic situation. At this point, we still do not have a motive. Uh, there is an update on the two who were taken to the hospital. That teen is listed in critical but stable condition with life-threatening injuries. As for the elderly man, he was treated and released from the hospital. The suspect is facing two counts of first-degree attempted murder. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.